Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Shell Arty. Today I am bringing you a different kind of video. I've been tagged by the lovely Colouring with Kay to show you my colouring workstation desk, whatever you want to call it or whatever you call yours. Mine is just my own Shell Arty's colouring corner on my landing. So let's show you my desk and this is where I sit when I come and give my lovely little videos and I sit in my chair by my window with everything you can see here so where should I start <laughs> this is going to be so different because I am not used to holding my phone like this and going around my desk so I'll give you a sneak peek at what I've got so first of all I have this part of my desk what comes out and I like this purely because I'm able to have the things at the side of me that I need which keeps my workspace when I'm streaming or videoing clear from clutter and I quite like to be less clutter is better for me. So here I always have my most recent projects what I'm doing so I keep a tub on my desk that has the pencils that I'm using my current project and at the minute my current project is the Fairies in Fall Colourathon where I'm colouring this is so hard because <laughs> I've only got one hand so if the if the quality of the video is bad I do apologize so at the minute I'm doing this live on my channel Thursdays and Sundays so if you want to follow along with that I'll catch up to where I am this is my most recent project um, and the books I have out for review are waiting here as well and I'm also doing another colouring tag which is so this is my what I'm up to pile and I always have these here these are some of my colour charts that I'm using at the moment and the book I'm reading at the minute so these are where I keep all my colouring books. It is a makeshift shelf, my printer, as you can see there, and my little, that's my little artwork bit. So I just put all my artworks, I'll show you them in a minute. But this is like my holy grail drawer. So in this drawer, it's got all my favourite books. I've got my Grazio Salvio book there, what is signed. Um, an exclusive image there from Jasmine Beckett Griffiths when we was on a workshop with Colour in Heaven. Then I've got my pot manga books. So these Jasmine Beckett Griffiths, these are what I've just shoved in. So some Joanna Basford's, my Kirby's, as everyone knows, I colour a lot of Kirby. Then you've got some um, Hannah Calzone ones, the most recent one, and the Cute and Creepy. Um, then my most recent purchase is the Circle Portraits from Laura Rafferty. And then obviously my little Emmanuel Collin um, Pouillage Wild books. There was some of my favourite books in that drawer. And there is obviously some on my desk. Then in this drawer is my Colour in Heaven subscription one. So I've been subscribing to Colour in Heaven since the very issue let me have a look 50 have a look. 47 i think is the earliest when i started my subscription and then i just have what i call my books i pick up that i'm just interested in i wouldn't say they're my favorites but they're just i see some pictures and think oh i'll have them so that's my everyday coloring boot drawer my holy grail every day and then in here I just keep all my drawing pads, papers, you name it for drawing is in there. My printer, the printer I use if anyone wants to know, ignore the dust on there, is the HP OfficeJet 5 230 and it is really good for printing. You can scan stuff and it's also got a top, I can't see with all these bits so many new things. <laughs> so you can put things in and scan them out. Or you can print them from your computer as normal or you can scan under here or copy. So it's a good all round HP OfficeJet 5230. And up here you've got my 
little drawings that I've done in the past. And then my little sketchbook. So I just keep this up there. And this has just got my little things that you've seen me do either on my channel, if you follow me, some little doodles and drawings that I've done. That's my daughter's drew that one, but I want to keep it. So as you can see, I do do my own doodling because eventually I would love to have my own colouring book. Just done. So I doodle. I haven't had much time to doodle because I've been colouring lots. But my colouring is going to become part of my arty journey, as I've said to everyone. So that's everything on that side. Um, down there I have my laminator and my professional camera that I'm going to be starting to use on my live streams. So that will be much better. So the computer I use to do all my streaming from is my Acer all-in-one computer. And as you can see, there's my setup. I just have very simple setup. My light system I use is going to be better than this, but this is just what I use right now. Let me pull it because I feel like I'm <laughs> so close. So I just use a normal webcam, a little mini ring light, and a an arm um, with an overhead light there. Let's have a look what I've got in here. So. I have all my paints and the glitters in this section, so I have all my paint brushes, all different sizes for my watercolour. I have the Caran d'Ache um, palette, what we use. You've got your rough side for your crayons, and then you've got your smooth, shiny side for any markers you may want to water down on there. I have some charcoal pencils hidden here. <laughs> I have my little theatre mask and my little gorgeous plant for when I want to do nice little shots of my pictures you may have seen some then I have my marker collection here I haven't got loads of stuff so I've got the Nuvu markers that's just a pencil uh, marker blender so I've got different sets of them then I've got some Posca pens some ink tense tape Bic pens gosh they're all compacted in here then I've got the normal standard colours in Posca and I can't get them back in. And the metallic Poscas, metallic colours, the big the wider versions. Then I've got Spectrum Nurse Noir Sparkle Pens and the coloured sparkle pens and the Faber Castile highlight pens. I also have my Zestit pencil blender up here hidden away from the children and my Mod Podge Sparkle Glue. This stuff is amazing. You can use it as a sealer on your diamond paints which would be really exciting for the sparkle. Then I have my Everything Goes pencil case so in here you've just got as you can see I'll just spread it out. I've just got a few rulers, some light stickles, but these are Duffcraft, a bits of bobs, odds and ends, a Zacto knife, some spur sharpeners, a bit of freebies. So like when I've got to pick something up, think, whoa, put my teeth back in. When I picked up freebies from our supply shop, there's a few stamping stencils here. So it's just, I'll put these, I see some more draw, it's mainly drawing utensils that's in there, some diamonds and just a few bits and bobs. Um, that I have lying around. Then here I have my colour wheel and then this is all my colour charts for every pencil set I have. And they're all laminated so they keep forever really and if I spill anything. And here you've got, as you've seen before, I do my own little drawings and any kind of colour ideas I have I just draw them out and put them in laminate so they're saved forever basically. I have loads of them, getting a collection of them. So that's in that part of my desk. Then I have my rubbers all in here, some sharpeners, my little desk dust wipe, 
which is just a blusher brush really. Then all my watercolour tubes, watercolour palette. This is the Royal Lang Nickel one. I like this one because it's got a little, you could hold it in your hand rather than having to do that. And then that's got odds and ends earphones for when I want to listen back to anything. Under here, let's sit down and bring you closer. I hope I'm not making anybody sick moving around. So under here, as you can see, let's get this out. I have my little pens for all my odds and end pens. So I've got my gel pens here that I want to use. There's all my white gel pens or Signo, which are one of my favourites. Uniballs, metallics. Then I've got your normal barrows. I find these Faber Castile barrows, and I absolutely love pens. I've got a bit of a pen fetish. So there go. Then I found the fine liner cushion tip Faber Castile pens. Then I just have your normal barrows. Got to have a pen, aren't you, everywhere you go? So some correction fluid. Sometimes I use that. And I have my drawing one that's got all my blending stumps in, all my different versions of pencils I want to use for when I get back to drawing. Some dotting tools for when I want finer dots, for if I'm doing any galaxy work and I want multiple different size spots. I know your plastic pens can achieve it, but these are just some a bit more precise. And I tend to use them with my acrylic paints. And here I've just got some pastel pencils. Um, and some white pastel pencils. Gosh, I'm not even in view. I'm so sorry about that. And my blender pencils. So that's what's in there. Then you have my brushes that I've not used in absolutely yonks. So I don't know when I'll use them. I don't really like them, if I'm being honest. I got them quite a while ago and they've just been sat there ever since. Then I've got my foil art at the back. Absolutely love foil art. If you, you if you get foil art on your acrylic nails, it's just very similar. Absolutely love the foil art. Then I've got, if you want anyone else to give me a, if you want me to show what you can do with the foil art, put it in the comments and I will do a little video on it. Then I've got these pigment inks. Um, they're just water-based, non-toxic acid free stamps that you can use for background or stamping whichever you prefer whoops then i've got all my nouveau glitters um some embellishments from nouveau and then some gilding flakes which are my favorite stuff for adding to backgrounds uh, on here i use an art easel that i lean on and then in the day as you can see i have a desk for when i'm doing my actual study then we move on to underneath. <laughs> As you can see, I have a Diamond Art Club package, which I'll do a reveal on that when I get round to it. But this is where I keep all my pencils. I don't have a massive stash of them, but I do have the Arteza brush pens. Um, just to ignore my carpet has polished shavings everywhere. And just undo these it's very hard to work with one hand it's probably going to stick back down and it has i knew it would but as you can see nice selection of Arteza's brush pens and i'm going to be doing a review on them even though i've had these for probably well over a year i've never actually used them so the water pen is still in the top. Let's just find where this one came out from. Um, and the, they, are, they are supposed to be really good. As you can see, they've got a proper brush tip on there with individual brushes. But I haven't sussed how to use them properly yet because me and Marcus are still only in preschool and we don't know how to use one another so i'm gonna figure it out i'm gonna learn I'm not going to let markers defeat me i've just purchased a new uh, sharpener from uh, gemini adult coloring tanya advised me which one to get so i bought that so i'll be trying that out and then under here i have got pencils galore I haven't got as many as everybody else has, 
stick to my video won't be very long but I have the skin tone set of the Black Widow I have the Monarch set and then I have the three different Spider, Scorpion gosh, and Cobra under there in that drawer I try and keep all the brands together and I've just got a few odds and ends little tins of Spectrum Noir Metallics, Derwent Metallics, some pastel pencils, some Montmartre skin tone colours. Got the Derwent Colour Soft skin tones there. And then I've got the two dark and light skin tones from Black Widow. They just fit neatly in there. And then in here, I've got my 120 set of Faber Castile pencils, polychromos some pastel sticks and then these are what I use the ones I showed you before the ink pads these are what I use to put them down or I'll use my ink pad with a foam just sticks on and voila off you go so I have odds and ends in that drawer as well as my favourite pastilles and in this drawer I have my only five whole bound pencils because that's all I can afford <laughs> then I've got some Faber Castile soft pastels and they're so good you won't find any pan pastels here because I just can't get them right now but I do have the Faber Castile ones some sketching pastel uh, sketching pencils my 40 Neo Colour 2 I do aim to get the full set if I can and my 120 set of my most favourite pencils, the Pablo's 120 set. I absolutely love them. So that's them. That's that draw done. <gasps> I'm squishing my whole binds. Don't squish the whole binds. Got a shell. Okay, and then in this drawer. I have my very first set of pencils I started adult colouring with, which were my WH Smith artist pencils. If you can get them, they're very, very deceiving. They're very good pencils. They're really good. They're blendable. They layer really well. They have good coverage. So if you're in the UK and you can get them, let me just open these, bear with me a second. So let's compare it towards a Black Widow, shall we? So if you look, very similar to a Black Widow. Very similar lead sizes. Black Widow's probably slightly bigger. But they are very blendable. They have your colour swatch on the end. And it's WH Smith, the Spectrum things, they're called. <laughs> so yes, they were my very first set of pencils. As you can all see. And I'll never let them go anywhere because obviously they're what started my journey then in this drawer as you can see I have my 120 set of Arteza, whoops, of Arteza expert pencils my acrylics and also these dream paints by Karen KJ designs by Karen at Indigo Inks and these uh, let's get them out. This one's the planets, as you can see. Look at that. That's the planets set. It's very hard to do with one camera. I've not planned this very well at all. And now I'm shaking, trying to open it in. And there's the ocean set. Look at the sparkle on them. Stunning. And they come out on paper like that as well. Exactly the swatches there. Is how they come out on your page. So check KJ Designs by Karen out. She's on Instagram, but she sells on Etsy. Then I have... I didn't know I had these. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I own some Derwent Colour Soft. 
And I said the other day on one of my lives, I don't actually have the colour soft and I do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is when you know you've got too many pencils when you forget that you've actually got a set that someone asks you about. So whoever asked me that on my channel, I'm very sorry. I do have them. I just have never tried them. They're probably still sealed. Yes, they still have the plastic wrapper on. <laughs> so I'll try them out and I'll find that comment and I'll let you know what they're like. They also have the Derwent Pro colour. The Artist 72 set and the Derwent Watercolour 72 set. I love the Artist set. I've just used them most recently. And the Pro Colour are absolutely lush. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. So let me just put these away. They can live in there for a bit now. Move house for a few days. Then in top of the shop, we have... Oh gosh. My 72 set of Prismacolor. I don't really use very often because I'm more of an oil pencil person. They're a bit too smushy. But when I want to smush a picture, that's when I'll get the Prismacolors out. So then I have the Spectrum Noir Color Blend, which I'm not particularly fond of. I have these. Now these are another underdog beauty. They are amazing. They blend, the pigment is so good. In fact, let me show you this. This here. See all these colours on there? Them was all done with the Faber Castile 60 bunt style pencils. And have a good look at them. How they're blended. How stunning. And can you see the foil? That's the file that I showed you under there. The file art, only cheap. That's here and here. I don't think I use it anywhere else on here. But I coloured this with them pencils. Them are 9 99 in many shops in the UK. And I think they're about £15 on the internet. I'm not too sure. Um, but that's in that drawer. Then they're my Royal Nickel watercolour pencils. All my cheap watercolour ones again. I've swatched them out and that's about it. They were quite good. And then I've got some oil pastels that I've had for absolutely yonks. And I've never used them. So yes, I have a lot of things that I have not used. And then... Ooh. See, these aren't going back in the way I wanted them to. There we go. And then here. I'll show you that in a second. I have my 72 set of ink tents. And they're all in a pencil case. I'm so sorry about this camera angle. It's so terrible. But they're my 72 set of Derwent ink tents. I do like them. You just have to be amazingly quick when you're watering them down and using them for anything. A cheap set of gel pens. Just picked them up and thought I'll try them because I don't really use gel pens. And then my wipes to keep <laughs> my desk clean. Um, some incense that I burn sometimes when I want to just chill and colour. Um, and I have my stones. I have a stone over there on my desk if you ever see. My little things I've gathered over the time, little trinkets and there's some other gems and stones in there because you all know I like my spiritual side. My RTs at 72 set and my new set of 120s there. In that not open because they're what RTs have sent me because some in my 120 set that's in there were damaged and broken. Some didn't have labels on. So let's just put all these back. And this is my little book, which you've all seen when I do my channels. I just document all the pages I've done. So when it comes to me doing my colour pages I remember what I've used because I've got a memory like a sieve so 
that is my colouring desk. I have my external mic where I talk to everyone from. I have my soap and glory, what I spray when I'm around here because I'm funny with smells and I like things smelling good around me. Don't know why, I don't ask. I have my little drawing man there and I'm going to get a few more from Ikea and I'm going to put them on my wall because you can take them off the stick, you can dress them up and hang them so it looks like they're moving and walking around. I think that's just cool. And then lastly, I have my A1 poster from Colour in Heaven of the British Isles, all done in all different animals, bird, wildlife, that's found in the UK. So, that everyone is my desk. I don't have a lot of things, I do know. And there's probably, people may have more on their desks, but this is mine. If there's anything in there that you would like me, oh, let me just show you one last thing. I forgot. In here, everyone knows me with my little uh, screen cue cards, which are these in here. And I do my little bubbles. Just grab this one, it's easier. I'm saying it's easier. Well, I do my little bubbles and I call them my screen cue cards so viewers like cells can see the colours that I'm using. Many streamers do the same thing. But I just decided I wanted to do the bubbles and thought, yeah, I like it. So people see them, they know they're watching me, Shell Arty. And that's in my little London bus. And I love little, me and my husband both love little, um, like memorabilia tins that are from the past. And I think here I'm just doing, it's what I made from a fur is in fall colour thon the first ever stream colorathon that I was involved in. I loved it. Oh, another one of my drawings. And then just some more of my cue cards that I'm in the process of doing. I'm in the process of doing my monarch set. So, and that's your lot. So as they say in MTV, I am done. This is my house and this is my drawing area. You're done. You've seen it all. Goodbye for now. And I'll see you on one of my next videos on Shell Arte. Thank you and see you all again. Bye.